So you just bought a new Mac. And hey, life is great, because you're now smarter, sexier, and artsier than you've ever been before. There's just one little problem. You may have to make a living, and that means you may have to work in the corporate world. Yes, you want to be a corporate drone just like the rest of them, and that means that you may need to use Outlook. Yes, Outlook, because when you're working for the man, the man needs to tell you when to show up to your meetings, and that means being able to connect to an exchange server and all of that rigmarole. You sure can't do that with Entourage now, can ya? This video is going to show you how you can get Outlook on your Mac in about 10 minutes flat. Are you ready? Let's go. I should mention that this video assumes that you already have Crossover Mac on your machine. If that's not the case, you should go out to our website and download the free trial version. It's really quick and easy to install. Once you've got it installed, the quickest, easiest way to get Outlook on your machine is just to go ahead and install Microsoft Office 2007. And the easiest way to get that going is just to put your Office CD into the CD drive. Crossover's installer will detect the CD, and you just go ahead and click the install button and we're off to the races. Along the way, of course, we'll be asked to accept Microsoft's end-user license agreements for .NET Framework and various other components of Office, and of course we'll have to put in our serial number. But other than that, pretty much all we have to do during this install is just sit back, drink our coffee, and go, yes, 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 click, click, click. And with that in mind, I'm going to make liberal use of fast-forward technology so we can get through this thing as rapidly as possible. And even with that, I'm afraid, there's going to be some awkward pauses here where we'll be forced to make idle chit-chat. Say, you know, how's the weather in Poughkeepsie? Yep, it's kind of cold here too. How's the ice fishing up there? Well... All of the ice fishing huts had to be off the lakes by March 1st. Anywho, look at the time. Fortunately, we're getting to the end of the process, and what happens next is Crossover's installer finishes up, and you can see a whole bunch of launcher icons created. And now you can close Crossover and just click on the Outlook icon. Up comes Outlook, and now we do the stuff that we have to do to get connected to Exchange. If you have any questions about that, obviously talk to your sysadmin, but it's relatively straightforward. At this point, Outlook will then go off and prepare the inbox for the first time to receive email. And in just a little bit, bada bing, bada boom, email starts coming into the inbox. It took us a grand total of about 10 minutes to get that to happen. Not bad at all. Obviously, if you need any assistance, our dojo full of caring, compassionate support ninjas simply lives to answer inquiries of this sort. And all silliness aside, thank you very much for your interest in Crossover Mac.